Howdy guys, I'm back with more Final Fantasy XII. Last time I defeated Sid at the top of Pharaohs, and I believe I'm in the middle of a cutscene, that's why I'm here staring at a save screen, so I'm gonna back out and get back to it. Alright, so we've escaped Pharaohs, Sid is gone, looks like we're at the Fawn Coast, maybe? Or Balfenheim? I think we're at Balfenheim. That would make sense since... Alright, here we go. Blast the sea! Blast the waves! Blast it all! I don't believe he's gone. He's rid us. How could he die? Hadn't you noticed? He'd been searching for a place to die all along. Lord Redus weren't the sort of man to run away from his problems by dying. He weren't. How could he abandon his abandon this town? You'd have him regret passing? You'd have him suffer and wail for eternity? But that's not what I meant. No. If he's gone, then he should rest in peace. Gods know he deserves it. Then let him. If you've time to mourn and curse him, then you've certainly time to carry on what he started. If you don't wish an eternity of regret on him, then let's do our part here and know he's watching over us. Satisfied. Satisfied? Red us? We'd be lucky if we earned a not disappointed from him, but I suppose everything depends on us now. Us and Vaughn's crew. Arr, since when have you trusted that lot with more than swab in the deck? I wasn't blind. I saw the faith that Red Us had in them. I'm sure they'll discover what it is they need to do in short time. Speaking of which, did you tell them about our guests? They should be meeting up at the manse as we speak. Who was that odd fellow anyway? Squawk! So we're going to be meeting an odd fellow, it seems. Al Sid? Of course. We let ourselves inside. The situation is one demanding some haste, you understand? How did you know where we were? <laughs> My little birds. They tell me many, many things. My lady, the war begins now. Then you were unsuccessful in stopping the Rosarian fleet? I used a variety of methods. All went according to plan until it came time to request withdrawal of our <laughs> most devoted generals. In their enthusiasm for war, our great military leaders went behind my back straight to Marquis Sandor's resistance. The resistance? During training, a division of the Resistance ignored their orders and disappeared. They were next found exchanging broadsides with the Imperials over old Nabradia. Why would they go there? They were asking to be found. You misunderstand. Those ships must surely belong to Rosarian Division. They may have joined Ondor's Resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army, under direct command of our war pavilion. This fifth column has invaded Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. And the battleground is the Oh, no. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Correct. They will bide their time waiting to strike until the empire has spent itself against the Marquis, but then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher ground, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. Bahamut, Lord of the Sky. Oh, great. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. 
It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If Rathus had not stopped it when he did, how much more mist might it have drunk? All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great accomplishment, I fear. And so it falls to me to put an end to the thing. Vane commands Bahamut himself? He comes to Rabanaster. Then I will defend Delmask and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. That's our charge, actually. It's our home. It belongs to us all. And my charge is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion for as long as is possible. I will do what I can. Ah, yes. When this unpleasantness is done, you must come to Rosaria. Mm. I will take you to the Amber Vale of Clan Margrace. Such things I will show you. Until then, I will be waiting. I ship that, yo. <laughs> Oh man, things have gotten so wacky. You know, that's. Oh, we thought we were so clever defeating Sid, didn't we? And it turns out that we fell. We worked right into his hands the whole time. Sid, man, and I were gonna see Bahamut or Bahamut or however the heck you're supposed to say it. I can't wait. Lo, Vaughn, word from the resistance. The Imperial Sky Fortress Bahamut is on the attack. This. this could be bad. Oh, this. it's a sky for. Bahamut's a sky fortress. Okay, yeah, that would make sense because all of the things that are typically espers in Final Fantasy games have been named like aircraft like the Leviathan was that big ship right and usually it's a water serpent Bahamut's usually a dragon so apparently it's an imperial sky fortress oh boy we have no chance of fighting it from the ground no the only way to fight the Bahamut is to go up, go to it by airship oh great the Strahl can now travel to Bahamut oh my gosh so, is that going to be the final fight, I take it? Alright, so I guess I have free roam once again. Alright. Balfenheim. Oh, the... Oh, I see. Bahamut is right there. Right next to Rabanastra. So, will I be able to visit Rabanastra? Will it still be, like, a city? Or is it going to be in ruins? Has the fight started? Oh my gosh, I sorry, I'm just kind of admiring the map here. I can't believe all the places that I've been, and I think there's still some place, like I, I stepped into the Deadlands for like a second and ran out. There's so many like side areas and things that I haven't done this game. Look at that, almost 66 hours playing this game, and there's still so much that I haven't done. Alright, well let's talk to a few people around town here. Lord Redos, as you well know, is with us no more. We continue to watch over the port in his stead. There's no admittance to the men's. The captains are within discussing the future of Balfenheim as we speak. If you want something, talk to those three. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see what the people of this town think of Redos being gone now. The only way to fight the Bahamut is to attack it by airship. I'm counting on you. Sink that monster and make Red Os make Redos proud. I'll do my best, but I promise nothing. Bahamut? That a fish, perhaps? I've sailed many seas in my days, but I've never heard of that. Yet best ask elsewhere. Alright, well, this guy's never heard of Bahamut. I mourn, Redos, but we must always think to the morrow. How else might we continue what he started here? Alright, alright. 
With Redos gone, I fear this town will revert to its old ways, and at least that makes some people happy, I wager. So the pirates will be back to actual pirating? What is happening? A great mist rises, covering the sea. I fear, I fear it will engulf all the world. Ooh, that's bad news. They saved me, Pa! I was so happy I went and ate too much mackerel again. Hey, mister, shouldn't you be out practicing for your running? Or practicing running? Okay, guess I'll turn my speed up. I'll take the hint. With Redus gone, now's our chance. No more money for the Imperial Swine. We'll defend the port ourselves as we did of old. Yeah, see, there's your person that's happy that uh, Redos is gone. South along the shore from here, you'll find the Redos, uh, excuse me, the former Redos man's. East is the town proper. Gosh, that's kind of a grisly thing to say. Not wrong, but, eh. I'm headed out on a long voyage. It's tough, you know. The sea is a lonely place. Indeed, indeed. So, I'm guessing, like, I'm guessing there's not going to be any new equipment. I kind of feel like any new items I want are going to have to be stuff from hunts or stuff I find, and I was a little bit... No, I think... Nope, yeah, I'm right. This stuff... I think most of this stuff was buyable at some point. I think it was, so... No new goodies there, and what about here? Um, yeah, same thing, so I guess if I want any new fancy treasures, I'm going to have to go do some hunts. So I guess now is the time I should be doing my hunts and my side quests. Oh, well, you know, what what there is to do. I don't really think I have a whole lot left to do, but I did just finish a major story point, so I feel like a lot of things have probably opened up. Yeah, there's... Ooh, yeah, look, there's quite a few um, hunts for me to do, so I, I might do... I don't know if I should do any of these on camera. I will definitely grab them on my own. Um, we're headed out on another voyage soon. Hope the town's still here when we get back, eh? Eh, I wouldn't hold my breath for, over it. I had a few words with that Vieira just now. Turns out she's from the force, but she ain't going back. Seems kinda sad, don't it? Um, okay, yeah, she had a hunt for me. I think I'm on it right now, so... Nothing new there. So I feel like if I go to the Bahamut, I'm not going to be able to leave. I'm feeling like that might be the last place in the game. So I feel like if I want to do any side stuff, now is my time. But I'm really eager to, you know, see where this is going. I just spent so much time in Pharaohs. So I'm really just kind of eager to keep going with the main story of the game, but at the same time I would also really hate to miss out on anything. In fact, I want to actually stop for a second and talk to a few more people here. The ship I sent out to fetch my cargo hasn't returned. Sounds like it was caught in an Imperial blockade. Just my luck. Bummer, dude. Never know what'll happen that world being as it is, but I'm prepared. I've outfitted and armored me an airship. Of course, she's not as fast now. Speed or durability? Ah, you go to Bahamut. What? The Sky Fortress? I do not recommend going there. No, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. Ooh. That's how you feel about it. I do want to go look at, um... Rabinastra, uh, good day, we handle all private airships, blah blah blah. Alright, so can I just go to Rabinastra? Alright, so it looks like I can, but the thing is that also highlights, like, see, they're both highlighted when I click on it. I, um, okay, I do want to go look around in there, just, um, I'm worried because I don't want to get locked into something that I can't, um, 
get out of because there is so much side stuff I haven't done, but I'm probably strong enough to finish the game now if I wanted to, but... Oh, choices. Alright, I want to talk to the people of Dalmasca or Rabanastra, see what's going on. When I'd heard what happened, I left for Burami saves as soon as I could. What I saw there left me speechless. What could the Empire possibly hope to gain by making an enemy of the light? Man, your news is old, man. What about what's happening here? The Bahamut is apparently, like, floating over the city. Don't you care about that? What's wrong with you people? Like, will I be able to see it if I step outside? Extra long loading screen. Um... The sky looks clear, at least in this direction. I hear they finally reopened all the airship routes again. Ah, how I'd love to travel by airship even just once. Okay. Not even worried in the slightest over here about the Bahamut. That's a little troubling. I thought that uh, people would be freaking out. Hey, Vaughn! Sure haven't seen you around much lately. If you're off having fun, how about letting me in on it? Unless that, uh, unless it's that dangerous and scary type of fun, you can count me out of that. What the heck? No one's worried about the Bahamut here and Robin Ostrom losing my mind. Come here, you talk to me. Saw me a chubby little cockatrice rolling off to the north of here, looking a mite bedraggled at that. Twert does domesticated, if I had to guess. Needs to toughen up summer. He'll never make it out in the wild. Alright, no one, literally no one cares about Bahamut. Alright, I'm, I'm really confused. Am I just picking the wrong people to talk to, or am I not in the right spot? First Vane returns to Arcades, then the Emperor dies. And now these rumors about an attack on Burami Sace? Could it all tie together somehow? I'm so amused. No one cares about the Bahamut. They're still on this whole Burami Sace thing. That's such old news. Come to the east end to do some shopping. But there are so many shops I don't know where to begin. You care about shopping with the Bahamut. Hey Vaughn, you and Penelo off traveling on your honeymoon? Huh? I'm just teasing you. It's just I, I don't see you too much anymore is all. I know you've got to do that. Or I know you've got stuff to do that's over my head. And that's okay. Just make sure you come back safe. Alright? My mom and dad said they'd come back. But they never did. I don't want that to happen again. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I decided to make him super cheerful. A friend of mine, a Sikh up in the north end, used his savings to travel to Arcades. I wonder if he's made it safely back. It's hard to imagine that the Imperial capital would be a safe place following the Emperor's assassination. I do hope he's alright. No, I'm losing my mind here. If no one... I heard the Empire launched an attack on Bur Amises. Okay. Wow, really? No one cares about... There's Bahamut. The Rosarian Empire stirs. Marquis Andor plots. There are more rumors than even I can keep straight. I wish I knew what it all meant. It, I'm not so much scared as worried. Whatever happens, it's always the small folk who get caught up in the middle. Exactly. There we go. There's someone that makes sense. It's still no one's properly freaking out. Um, I can't... F yeah, no, like, that should be everything that everyone is talking about. Yeah, someone's talking... This guy's drunk talking about the sand sea. Like, seriously? No one cares about the Bahamut? I guess maybe they thought no one would come back to town and want to talk with people about that. Uh, let's see. You've been checking the notice board. You probably all cunts. You can always clan rank. Okay. And yes, yeah, same things. Got some hunts to do. Oh, man. Alright, rumors about a strange band of Numo and the Nabrius, Nab Nabrius, oh my gosh, Nabrius Deadlands. Considering the state of the place, I find it hard to believe. Okay, well, I guess no one is going to have a proper freak out about what's going on in, well, what's supposed to be going on in Rabanastra. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually because no one cares, or I feel like the NPC dialogue just wasn't updated for some reason, like, everyone's just, watch your purse with a bazaar. Yeah, see, like, 
I, I, I don't think I've been maybe just picking the wrong people to talk to. I just kind of feel like no one really cares. Yeah, this guy's talking about the view. Like, there's supposed to be a giant airship flying around over us and no one in any part of the town seems to care. I just picked someone at random over there. Well, this is... Hmm. I gotta say this is a little bit disappointing. I thought that everyone would be like, oh no, our hometown, what do we do? You know, I figured everyone would be taking up arms. I mean, you know, Vaughn and Pinello, this is their home. They've been fighting for it all along, and the people of Dalmasca right now are talking about, you know, shopping and getting drunk. It's like, you guys need to be getting ready for a fight. This place is supposed to be a battleground, but... I don't know, maybe it doesn't turn into a battleground until I fly up to the Bahamut. I really don't know. So, I guess... Hmm... I don't think... Uh, like I said, I'm not really sure if I'm really ready to, um... To go up to the Bahamut just yet. I did want to... I mean... Uh, is it a point of no return? Oh, I feel like it's going to be a point of no return. Yeah, guys, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make this one a short video. I'm sorry, guys. This one's kind of been just disjointed. It was like that last half of a cutscene and me talking to people, but I've just got that feeling that Bahamut's the point of no return, and I want to get some hunts and stuff out of the way. I might record a few of them. I'm going to probably look up a guide for side quests and see if anything is particularly interesting or exciting. And uh, if it is, I might do a few recordings. If not, I'll probably just uh, come back whenever I, I'm ready to do the Bahamut thing. So, sorry about the weird video today, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Really do appreciate you guys watching me in this long journey that has been Final Fantasy XII. Really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.